Hey guys, this is Chris. Today we're going to talk to Vaikit Lau, who is the CEO and co-founder of Remote HQ. So Vaikit, welcome to the show. Can you briefly tell us about yourself and Remote HQ? Hi, my name is Vaikit Lau. I am the CEO and co-founder of Remote HQ. Remote HQ builds collaboration tools for remote teams like ourselves. Uh, we are a global team uh, and the company was founded back in 2017. So what sort of products and services does uh, Remote HQ offer on the market? Think of Remote HQ as your all-in-one collaboration hub. All the things that uh, you're able to do in a physical office, whether it's uh, taking notes, whiteboarding uh, in a brainstorming session or sitting next to each other uh, pouring over a, a web application or a website, going through a model on Google Sheets and what have you. We allow you to encapsulate all those collaboration modalities uh, into a single platform, into a single browser tab. So, um, so there are a bunch of use cases that people are using Remote HQ for, certainly for remote collaboration among remote teams, but we also have uh, support teams using us to enable uh, support with customers. Uh, Certainly, there are um, uh, users using us for e-learning applications, for teaching, training, and onboarding. Can you tell us about the Remote HQ uh, shared browser? How does it work? This is a Remote HQ room. You can add different apps into the room to customize your collaboration use cases. One of our most unique apps is Shared Browser. Here, we are launching the Shared Browser. While we are launching the Shared Browser, we've also launched a Notes app, an app where Multiple people in the room can be taking notes together. Okay, now the shared browser is launched. I'm going to Trello to log into my Trello account and collaborate over Trello with my teammate. Now, what's really interesting here is that using the shared browser, we can make Trello instantly collaborative in real time. Both of us or more people in the room can control the Trello app at the same time. And this is really important ultimately because using the shared browser, any website and web application you access can be turned immediately collaborative, whether the application itself is collaborative or not. The shared browser solves a lot of the inherent challenges with screen share. In screen share, you can see but you can't touch. We allow everyone in the collaboration session to be able to edit and co-control. Uh, since many people are working from home these days, how does uh, Remote HQ help them with the remote working environment? In some ways, we think of ourselves as building a new class of software, uh, a class called the virtual office or the digital office. When teams no longer have a physical office to go to, they can use our platform as the connective glue to tie all the remote team members together in terms of what everyone is working on to stay in sync and to brainstorm and be productive together. Um, and we think this enables companies to now be able to scale their team and to hire wherever they think the best talent are around the world uh, without being tied down to a physical location. So what sort of markets are you currently focusing on and uh, where do you see most of the demand for remote working environment coming in from? We've been seeing demand coming from all around the world, uh, even before COVID-19, actually. Uh, we certainly noticed a shift in the last few years where companies from all around the world, uh, you know, small and mid-sized, and even some large companies have been thinking about, well, what is our remote work strategy? And certainly this theme has been accelerated by uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, now, when it comes to remote working alternatives, there are always, you know, security issues that users face. Uh, what kind of um, solutions do you offer in terms of making sure that users on your platform are secure? In security, we are end-to-end -end encrypted. Uh, but more than that, we are also secure from the perspective that uh, because we are a web application, uh, beside being uh, easy to use and there's no software to download and install, um, by design, it's also secure because web applications cannot get privileged access into operating system calls. Uh, unlike those applications that you uh, download, you have to download to use, such as Zoom. So Vaikit, what sort of cost are we looking at uh, when people are using your platform? Since March, due to the coronavirus pandemic, we've made the entire platform 
uh, free of charge uh, until August 1st. Uh, after August 1st, we'll charge uh, 15 US dollars uh, per user per month. So are there any limitations to your platform? Like for example, the number of users, the number of users that can simultaneously sign on into your platform? In terms of limitations, uh, we do not have mobile apps yet. However, we do support uh, mobile web on your phone uh, and tablets. So you can use us, access us on mobile Safari on your iPhones uh, or your mobile Chrome on your Android devices. So with the COVID-19 situation across the world, uh, how does a platform like Remote HQ help companies and employees stay connected with each other? Our fundraise uh, will be used towards uh, growing out our team uh, and adding more to our platform and uh, bolstering our go-to-market uh, over the next few years. Thank you, Vaikit, for speaking to us. It was nice having you with us on this show. And I hope to speak to you again in the future. So guys, that was Vaikit Lau of Remote HQ. If you like this video, please like, share and comment below. And for more such videos, please subscribe to our channel.